Hey everybody, how's it going? Just want to do a quick review on this Intex pull-out sofa inflatable bed that I picked up. Uh, moved to a new duplex here and needed something in the uh, interim to go ahead and fill a spot before I got some permanent furniture and didn't want to spend a ton of money on something to put here. So what I decided to do is kind of just pick up one of these from Amazon and they run about $55 or less shipped to your house. Uh, the size is 76 inches by 87 inches by 26 inches. It is a queen size pullout, so you have a couple mattresses that you pull out there and you'll be able to uh, you know, lay down and I guess it seats and sleeps too comfortably. So we'll go ahead and check that out as far as when we get it blowing up here for you. And I'll do a time lapse of how long it takes. You do have to purchase the pump separately from this particular unit. I had an a Intex air pump for a air mattress that I picked up previously, so that's what I'm using for this particular one right now. But they run about $14 on Amazon. They're not too difficult to uh, do as an add-on item when you're purchasing an Intex item. But I'll go ahead and link the product uh, down in the description there for both the Intex couch and the, the air pump itself. That way you guys have quick reference to it. But uh, just some quick information apart, uh, about this particular thing. It does have two air valves that you use to fill it up. And like I said, we'll demonstrate that. We'll do an unboxing here for you. Uh, it does seat that two people comfortably and sleep those two people comfortably. Uh, and it's an item weight of 19.4 pounds, but when it's shipped to you, it's about 19.9 pounds. Uh, the item number for this is 68566E, E is an echo. And uh, again, that's 68566E. And it's been out for a while. It's got pretty decent reviews. I think it's about four stars out of five stars on Amazon. So uh, there are some people who overinflated. I, I did the same thing with my, my first Intex product. I just overinflated it, and one of the inner seams blew out. So be careful not to do that. Uh, what you're going to want to do based on ambient temperatures for your house is just go ahead and fill it to about 80%. Let it stretch over the first three or four days. Fill it a couple more times, but never really exceeding 90% fill capacity. And having a little bit of, of uh, cushion to it is, is perfectly fine and what you'll find is over the three or four days at least initially you'll have some stretching which will make it seem like it's deflating but it's actually not it's just stretching that material out uh, and putting more air in but you definitely don't want to over inflate it over 80 percent especially over the first three or four days 90 percent uh, for its lifetime period so uh, but if you take good care of them you maybe cover it with an afghan or some sort of uh, microfiber blanket that really helps with uh, if you you need to uh, change the color it does come in black here as you can see I think I believe it does also come in tan if I'm not mistaken uh, but you can again change those colors with microfiber blankets or other types of blankets just kind of covering it uh, and then you know draping it over and then you'll be able to kind of provide your own decorative uh, means or colors to that couch for your particular needs so uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do an unboxing here real quick for you then we'll do the time lapse of the blow up Okay, so inside the box what we have here, and you can see on the front it does say don't forget a pump, so at least they do warn you on the front that this particular unit does not come with a pump, but inside the, in the box here we have some uh, inflation instructions and it's telling you about the stretching. We also have it's like some uh, basic uh, safety information. And it is a little hefty, like I said, 19.4 pounds product weight. And as you can imagine, it's a decent sized coach shoved into a box that's shipped to your door. So it's pretty surprising that they're able to do this. And then you have the uh, coach itself, which is wrapped up here to protect it from any kind of cuts or abrasions. And then inside here, we have the coach itself which a lot of times just rolls right up and you can actually keep the box and that's typically sometimes what I'll do unless I use a plastic bin in order to store these if I am going to uh, keep them for later use or perhaps just temporary use but this should have like I said two valves and I can kind of see we have uh, the one piece design so it's not broken apart but we'll kind of stretch it out a little bit more here so you guys can see it here we go I believe the cushion should be a separate piece here and it's probably just wrapped up in here, I just don't see it. Oh. I guess that's pretty much it right there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do a time lapse of it guys and we'll blow it up for you. Okay, so I have it stretched out there for you. You can kind of just see the general size of it in the living room here once it's pulled out as the queen size bed, but it is a one piece design. There isn't a second cushion that comes along with it that's separate. Uh, you can see my dog over here is waiting patiently for me to blow it up. I'd like to mention that uh, with my other Intex products, even without any type of uh, blankets or uh, 
types of uh, sheets or anything like that protecting the tops of the uh, air mattresses or couches that I've previously done these things actually hold up pretty well against her nails uh, it does, she doesn't ever pop one or had any kind of scratching or anything like that on them so they are very durable the uh, bottom is like a parachute type material the top has like a microfiber type feel to it although it's not really uh, so it's, it's got a really good durability to it it's thick uh, the technology for these air types of products have come a long way since I was a kid, you know, back in the 80s and 90s when, uh, you know, you had to be super careful about not popping the things. But uh, these things are pretty robust. They can, they can take a beating. Uh, you can have your kids jumping around on them. They're really not going to affect it too much. As long as it's not overinflated, they're generally going to last a very long time. Uh, there are two valves, like I mentioned earlier. There's one up here towards the top of the uh, couch where you're going to have kind of the, the back end and the armrests. And then you also have a second one that's kind of down there towards the bottom corner there, uh, which I think you might be able to make out there, but that's going to go ahead and fill up your uh, cushions that it goes along with it here. So two different air valves, and like I said, we'll do a time lapse here of how long it takes to do it, and I'll just kind of do the uh, counter towards the end there of how long it actually was so the time lapse doesn't take forever, but uh, we'll get into that. Okay, so we have it blown up here, at least the back half of it and the supporting foundation of the couch. We don't have the cushion yet blown up, but what I did is I've blown it up to about 80%, and really what that is is you're just kind of watching the structure, and you'll see kind of the, uh, there on the end there, you'll see the wrinkles of the material. And what I kind of do is just kind of watch the major wrinkles blow out uh, and leave some of the, the lighter fixture wrinkles in there. That, that way you can kind of tell that it's not fully... Uh, inflated there you got about another maybe 10 20 percent left and of course you're just guessing at that point but you just want to make sure that you're not over inflating it and uh, it's it's safer just to under inflate and, and over inflate you know put more inflation in I should say later uh, than really have to worry about blowing out seams or having a you know a puncture of some sort because it's got too much pressure in it now you'll notice here it does have a couple cup holders built into the arms which is a really cool feature it's got one over on the other side as well uh, if I'm not mistaken it was about two uh, or two and a half minutes if I'm not uh, again mistaken there to blow up this couch so uh, at least the back half of it we'll go ahead and do the cushion I'm sure that won't take it very long as well it's a little bit smaller so uh, but it did it very well you just kind of click everything into place you, you turn on the air pump it pumps it up and you're all set Okay, as I was blowing it up, I did notice actually there's three total valves. There's uh, two valves uh, for the cushion system. So there's one you know, valve for the, the long one there you can see blown up, and then the one that's not blown up as well. So the instructions were a little uh, misleading there, I guess, but not a, not a big deal. We just have three valves instead of two, and a lot of times that, that's just fine. Uh, you'll have a little bit more flexibility with uh, the restraints and, and abilities of the couch, and of course folding it up in this situation uh, and using it as a backrest is one of those abilities. So. We'll go ahead and blow up this uh, second cushion. We should be all set. Okay, so now you notice we have everything blown up here. We have our two cushions and we have our major uh, foundation couch type thing in the background there. And uh, it is a queen size, so it's a very reasonably sized couch. You can kind of see me standing next to it here, and I'm not going to lay down on it for you guys, but uh, it, you can you know, easily sleep two people on this thing very comfortably. Uh, my daughter and I will use it in the living room here, maybe to watch movies and stuff when we're uh, you know, plunked out here doing that kind of thing. But uh, let me show you how it folds up here. Again, you have the two cushions that are separate, so you do have that ability to bend it, which allows it to go ahead and fit it into a couch type position. And there you go, you have the couch, and... Uh, the armrests and things of that nature, the bottom foundation there probably could use a little bit more air and uh, you could probably go around and uh, you know, feel out some of these wrinkles here so it doesn't look as uh, shabby but uh, ultimately you kind of get the picture here once it's got a little bit more air it'll have a little bit more firmness uh, like I mentioned before you can go ahead and use uh, microfiber blankets or something like that effect uh, to change the colors or even the feel of the couch but 
Uh, you can see me sitting on it. I'm very comfortable. It's uh, very good sized. You could probably fit three people on here. I wouldn't exceed, you know, maybe 600 pounds for this thing. I, you know, I think that's kind of what these Intex products are rated for. But uh, you got your cup holders, and uh, you could easily sit here for an hour or two and watch TV very comfortably for uh, $60. So uh, if you're looking for an alternative budget, very quick type of uh, furniture for your living room or a playroom for your kids, maybe a craft room or a TV room, even a man cave, uh, this would be the way to go. This is a really nice couch and you have some versatility to it being that you can you know, sleep some guests if you have them over. So uh, for 60 bucks, I really like these Intex products. Uh, my biggest lesson learned is overinflation. I've said it numerous times, but don't overinflate these. Uh, that's, that was uh, the number one killer for these types of Air Intex uh, products. You know, you overinflate them and the seams blow out. Uh, or you'll have uh, you know a seam blowout on the edges, or uh, you know just a puncture wound of some sort because of the overinflation. So uh, the other thing is be careful anything that's in your pockets that are very sharp, knives, that kind of thing that might poke down and poke that. Uh, that that could also harm these types of things. But what I typically do is cover it with a microfiber blanket just to protect it a little bit. It also gives it a little bit more uh, a comfort level to it, a little bit more plushness, a little bit more of a, a traditional couch feel, if you will. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate watching. Until next time, take it easy.